COVID-19 has turned the lives of people upside down, but it's also affected our pets. So whether you're going to the groomer or a doggy daycare or a visit to the vet or leaving them with a walking service, what should you expect? So the client comes in, stands on the green mat. Miss Ryder! Miss Ryder! They unclip their dog. The dog goes running through the back to hang out with his friends. He's so excited. We'll see you this afternoon. And then they leave. When it's time for the client to come back to pick up their dog, the dog walks out to the owner, the owner clips the dog, and off they go. So a distanced pickup and drop off. Another rule that many facilities have is that you have to remove personal items from your pets. So no leashes, for example, you have to take them off when you arrive. And another common rule, only one owner on the premises at a time. From staff, the biggest changes you'll notice, they may be wearing protective equipment, there will certainly be more physical distancing, and they may try to stagger their appointments, spread them out, so just be sure to call ahead of time. But overall, not much else changes because COVID-19 is overwhelmingly transmitted between humans. And it would be unlikely that the dog fur would have, you know, a heavy contamination of the virus. And even if the dog were playing, it's probably unlikely that that virus would get transmitted to be on the coat of the other dog. So, I mean, these are extremely low uh, probability events. Low probability, but not zero. So while there isn't a standing recommendation to say, bathe your pets more often, you should still be practicing good hand hygiene. But at the end of the day, an epidemiologist's take on how safe these services are? The risk of transmission in those settings is gonna be extraordinarily low. 